Hi, my name is Jeff Perry and I'm the manager of the Webbench team at Texas Instruments. Today I'm going to talk about the Webbench Visualizer. The Webbench Visualizer builds on the Webbench Power Supply Designer, which is a single power supply design tool. And the Webbench Visualizer takes advantage of using that to create multiple different designs to allow a user to visualize the best result for their inputs up front. This is the entry screen for the Webbench Visualizer. At the top, you would input your input voltage, your output voltage, and your current. On the right side, it would give you a table of recommended solutions for your inputs. Now, this table includes calculations for each one of those designs for things like efficiency, footprint, and bomb cost. On the left side, there's a chart that shows a graph of footprint and efficiency, and also the bubble size is the cost of the bill of materials for each part. As I mentioned earlier, the important columns here on the right side include the bomb footprint, the bomb cost, and the efficiency. And these are not values that are just read out of a parametric database. These are calculated dynamically for your inputs. And so if you change your output voltage or your input voltage, these numbers will change. This allows you to compare side by side dozens of different solutions. The graphical plot allows you to give uh, instant trade-offs uh, between the uh, results. Click on the square button over here to expand the graph. And we can see here that we have all of our data plotted in the form of a bubble chart. On the x-axis, we have the efficiency. The y-axis is the, the footprint of the bomb. And the bubble size is the bill of materials cost. If you hover over one of the bubbles, it'll tell you the details about individual parts, including the specific cost, efficiency, footprint, and other things like V-out peak-to-peak, what frequency it's running at, and uh, also uh, the topology. If you want to graph uh, some of these other parameters, such as frequency, you're free to do so by using the drop-downs in the upper left. Okay, one question that would arise is why are there so many different uh, possible solutions across this space? And the answer to that is that the individual parts result in different operating regimes. For example, in the lower right there, the smallest and most efficient parts tend to be the synchronous controllers that have a high side and a low side FET and uh, also are, uh, power external FETs. Next to that, you have synchronous integrated controllers or synchronous integrated FETs, which are a little less efficient and uh, use a little more space. To the left of that are asynchronous parts that use a high side FET and a low side diode. Uh, those are, tend to be simpler to use, but maybe not quite as high performance. And then in the upper left, you have parts that are older technology. This allows you to compare across different parts. So for example, if you're looking for a low cost part, uh, you might get an answer that goes all the way down to $1.87. Uh, smallest footprint goes down to 195 square millimeters, and the highest efficiency goes all the way up to 96%. But there are trade-offs. For example, the high efficiency part might be the costliest and have the highest footprint, and uh, the smallest footprint part has lower efficiency. But what this allows you to do is compare different designs up front to achieve better results than just optimizing one part at a time. What I wanted to do here is actually do a live demo. So let's cut over to a design. We're going to put 14 to 28 volts in, 3.3 volts out at 5 amp. And let's use the Webbench Visualizer to see which is the design with the smallest footprint, highest efficiency, and lowest cost. We'll start out on TI.com and use the Webbench panel over on the right-hand side. Let's enter in our input parameters, which is 14 to 28 in, 3.3 volts, out at 5 amps. Click on the Start Design button. Now Webbench calculates uh, all possible solutions for this design space. So Webbench has found 33 different solutions. Now let's see some of the differences that arise here. We can use the Webbench Optimizer knob in the upper left corner to optimize the design for high efficiency, small footprint, and low cost. Here we have the mid-level design, which is a balance between small footprint and high efficiency. And we can see that our footprint is 429 square millimeters. The bomb cost is $4.64, and the efficiency is 78%. Now, if we want to go for high efficiency, 
let's see what happens when we turn the knob over to that end. Now all the designs get recalculated based on a target of high efficiency, which typically means lower switching frequency. So we can see our efficiency now has gone from 78% all the way up to 96%, but our bomb cost has also increased all the way up to $6.86, and our footprint's gone to 1,400 uh, square millimeters. Let's target small footprint and see what happens. So of these 33 parts, the one that's optimized best for small footprint is this part which has 344 square millimeters, which is very small. Bomb cost is $4.88 and the efficiency is down to 88%. Now if we go to low cost, let's see what happens there. Okay, this solution has a uh, 403 square millimeter uh, footprint and the cost is down to $4.16 and efficiency is 87%. So you can see here that uh, just by clicking a button, you can instantly analyze dozens of different designs and target them towards your individual uh, design goals. So what does the visualizer gain you? You can evaluate dozens of power supply solutions in seconds. Each solution is calculated dynamically based on the user's inputs. Furthermore, you can optimize all the solutions for small footprint, high efficiency and low cost, and you can graphically compare those different solutions to each other and filter results to meet your design requirements. The bottom line is that Webbench design tools save you time. You can access Webbench at webbench.ti.com and thank you for listening.